غير علم ويتخذه هزوا إلى آخر الآية هذه الآية متفق عليها بين المفسرين من ابن عباس رضي عنه وابن مسعود وغيرهم أنها في الغناء هذا للغناء أما الموسيقى الحديث في صحيح بخاري في صحيح بخاري قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يكونن من أمة أقوام يستحلون الحرة أو الحرة والحريرة والخمرة والمعازف المعازف ثم ذكر أن في آخر في أن هؤلاء القوم سيصيبهم عذاب من الله يخسف ببعضهم الأرض ويحول بعضهم كردة وخنازير إلى يوم القيامة والحديث يقول يستحلون أي يعاملونه كأنه حلالا وهو ليس حلال هو حرام فكون ذكر له الدليل من القرآن والسنة إن حسم الأمر إذا حسم الأمر أي وسيلة أخرى لتوصيل الإسلام تدخل في البدع وقد قال الإمام مالك رحمه الله من ابتدع في الإسلام بدعة ورآها حسنة فقد زعم أن محمدا صلى الله عليه وسلم خان الرسالة لأن الله يقول اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا فما لم يكن يومئذ دينا فلا يكون اليوم دينا الأمر محسوم فلو ثم قال أن في عهد النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام كان من الأعراب من يستمع للموسيقى ولو كانت هذه وسيلة ناجحة للدعوة لنادى أبو بكر وعمر وقال ائتوا بالطبول والآلات العزف واذهبوا إلى الناس وادعوهم إلى الإسلام من خلال الموسيقى ولكنهم لم يفعلوا ذلك نعم ربما هنالك مصلحة ولكن المفسدة أعظم كما ذكر الله في الخمر أن فيه مصلحة وفيه مفاسد والمفسدة أعظم من المصلحة فكون الأمر كذلك حرم الله عز وجل هذه الوسيلة فخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم لم يكن يدعو بالغناء ولا بالموسيقى ويجب علينا أيضا أن نتبع هذه الطريقة السليمة التي يعني تؤدي إلى الجنات بإذن الله ومرضة الله عز وجل بكوش عليكم السلام Um, I don't know how I'm going to say that, but uh, if I'm a brother, or people who do rock, uh, they affect their sons and all this stuff because they do rock. And uh, he told me that um, the bad things are related to the people who do rock and all this stuff. But uh, it's a different situation here in Saudi Arabia. The people are uh, living a different kind of life, a different kind of style. Um, we are... Um, moved by the Quran. Uh, so if I'm too proud of all this stuff, I keep praying, doing good things to my community and all this stuff. I'll, I'm not going to smoke beads, I'm not going to put the gang stuff and all this stuff. I'll do wrong. Do the great message. Maybe the bad, the bad people who are doing wrong and doing the bad things, they will never be able to be here, to hear what you say. So maybe I'm going to be able to deliver this message to them through this music. This is my concept, maybe. This is my, how I can see the world in a good way. What message are you trying to deliver to them? Maybe I'm um, living a good Muslim. But don't we have the Quran delivering that already? Yeah, but they, they, these people are so blind to see that. They listen to music. So if I can deliver music to them uh, by this concept that we are a Muslim, that I have to pray, that I have to put those good things to my parents, to the people, to the community. It's going to be good for them to hear what I'm saying. Through music, then maybe they will accept it that the music is bad things or something like that. So, so can, can I ask them a question, inshallah? So do you think your message or the Quran, which one is better? Quran, so then we, we have something that's better, alhamdulillah. Uh, what I'm trying to say that these people I don't know. I, I know a lot of people, they don't read Quran. No. They don't even think to come to Muhammad like that or lecture like this. How, how you can uh, deliver this message for them? Well, basically, delivering a, delivering a message from music, guidance is from Allah. You know, Allah, he sent down a revelation for us over 1400 years ago, and he said in the Quran that today I perfected your religion for you and chose Islam as your religion. And the way we spread the religion of Islam, it has to be according to the Quran and the Sunnah. We cannot innovate something, you know what I mean, and say that maybe, because Allah knew that it would be in 2010, and He knew that music would be widespread, but He never legislated for us to use music to spread the religion of Islam. I'll be you know? I'll be
do um, poetry, so. Uh, before we go on translating, uh, Sam Arigal, uh, I just need to make a quick comment on uh, Brother's uh, question that he had. Um, if you look, if you go back into the Prophet Sallallahu day, uh, we had the Quran, and we did have music, right? But it wasn't something that it is today. Music is implemented in all of our lives. And it, especially with this generation, even though we know that it is haram and we're not supposed to listen to music, we still do it. I mean, it's just one of those things that we do do. And of course, the Quran is the best way to convey a message. It's, it is the way to convey, you know, Islam. But, I mean, there are other ways. I mean, if you look at teenagers, we're very rebellious. Okay. If you sit back and you tell us what to do, a lot of times they're going to end up doing the opposite. But if you convey it in a way that we can relate to, we will listen. And I understand that it's wrong to you know, spread Islam with music, but what about you know, nasheeds? What Have you ever thought about doing nasheeds? Like Sam Yusuf got into that, and Cat Stevens, he got into that, he's Islam. So hey, Cat know. Stevens is back with the guitar. <laughs> You know, so I'm trying to. Sammy and Sammy Yusuf, he used the duff, and for the Muslim men, it's not permissible for us to use a duff. I'm, I'm not, I can't give no fatawa, but the reason why I can speak on the music because I spoke to some of the mashaykh, and they told me that this is something I should be able to relate to the people because I had to basically investigate this because this is the way I made my livelihood. So for the Muslim men. This is something that's not legislated. Ibn Taymiyyah, or Imolai, said in the time of the Sahabas, if they would have saw a man playing a dove, they would have thought that man was feminine. This is something that was only legislated for the woman. And even though I understand where you're coming from, saying that um, we living in a situation where the Muslim youth is engaged into music, but to be honest, you do have positive music out here today. But if you think about the music the kids listen to, they don't listen to positive music, they listen to 50 Cent's. They might listen to Sammy Yusuf once in a while, but they listen to gangster, destructive music. And if anything, it's really not the music, it's not the lyrics that's really affecting the people, it's the musical instruments that's affecting the heart of the Muslims, or the heart of the non-Muslims, anybody. The musical instruments, for, a fa for, for example, they did a study in America, and the non-Muslim did a study in America on a lady who every time she listened to a certain type of record, she catch a seizure and she fall out. Now the people in America are saying that musical instruments can affect a person mentally and physically. A sound of the music is affecting people's bodies physically. They said that it's certain sounds in the music that can make a person heart skip a beat, he can catch a heart attack. They said it's certain musical sounds that a person can get aggressive and get angry only from the music. They said they have music that'll make a person happy or make a person sad. The only thing that should control our emotions like this is the Quran. Many people, they listen to music, they listen to Sammy Yusuf, they start crying. We put on the Quran, this is the speech of Allah, we don't even shed a tear, this stuff put hypocrisy in the heart, you know what I mean? So we have something better than music, alhamdulillah. I, and for me, I live music, I love music. So if I can do it by the permission and the mercy of Allah, then everybody else can do it. This was something I used to make my living off of. So if Allah from his mercy allowed me to do it, it should be easy for the rest of us, inshallah. ما أدري أترجم السؤال الله مستعان السؤال إذا أستحضر السؤال السؤال كان تعليق على كلام الأخ هنا جزا الله خيرا أنه نحن مقتنعين أنه القرآن هو الوسيلة هو الوسيلة الأفضل وسيلة على إطلاق لتوصيل الإسلام ولكن برضو كلام الأخ خلاصته أنه وإن كان الأمر كذلك نخاطب ناس معينين ما يفقهون فنريد أن نوصل لهم الرسالة بوسيلة يفهمونها يعني هذا 